the college is a vehicle. And to me, what it is, is a vehicle for transformation. It's a mini world that anyone can live in, thrive in, perform in, and grow. It was John Adams who once said that there are two kinds of education that one must acquire. One is how to make a living, the other is how to make a life. At Ithaca College, we provide students with the capacity to acquire both kinds of education. That's what makes this college so special. When I was applying to school, this was one of the only places where I could find close connection between everything that I wanted to do. I had all the liberal arts of the humanities and sciences, and I also had my music, which is so important to me. The importance of astronomy is to widen a person's horizons, because when you look up at the sky, it's vast, and there's so much in it, and there's so much we don't understand. We want to put this one on first. It's a real pleasure working with David, and I met him sort of by referral. I was a new professor, and David was interested in stars. Our research starts with, is it possible for planets to form around stars that are 10 times as massive as our sun? And when they do form, are they anything at all like the ones in our own solar system? So at 745, we have Pollux. So that's catalog number 512. Luke is a person I really admire. Okay, there's a bright star in the field. Okay, center that in the crosshair. The beginning of my junior year, we hit it off, right off the bat. And by the end of my junior year, I was doing real research with him. What are we about now, 12,000 or so? Yeah, there's altitude signs, but I think probably just up at between 10 and 11,000 feet. Do you want to stick to the plan and start with HD 34282? Yeah, 34282, because that's the one where we think we saw molecular hydrogen. Yeah. The conditions on Mauna Kea are ideal for astrophysical research, and that's why you see so many different observatory domes in so small a place. Those domes house some of the largest telescopes, in fact, one of them the largest telescope in the world. We're going to SAO 150-159. Here we go. What really excites me about astronomy is that after a while, you just put it all together and you get a real result um, about something which is totally awesome. I mean, how else can you describe a star? I mean, look at that spectrum. I think that looks pretty good, actually. It just it's looks just like really, a, really a point of light when you're looking at it through a telescope. And yet you can analyze it and get information on it. It's really exciting to be able to study something which is so esoteric, but also, in some way, also so personal because you, you're so hands-on with it. We're interested in the answers to these questions, but it's actually the things that we learn along the way that we didn't expect that end up contributing the most. I think an Ithaca College degree today is more valuable than it's ever been in terms of what the marketplace is looking for, the strength of the academic preparation our students receive, and the ability they have while they're here to practice, experiment, and perform with whatever the discipline is that they're learning. The Center for Life Skills is a stroke clinic for the city of Ithaca. And it's really unique because it is actually a lab for students so it's run by the students who are supervised by their professors. Prior to uh, my stroke, I was a criminal defense attorney. I have defended 23 first degree murder trials. In which Tom is a client who had a stroke on his right side. So he's paralyzed on the left side of his body. Quite often, I will go and relax and go to sleep just to escape for a while, the pain. After the stroke, he really secluded himself. He didn't really want to be around anybody. He couldn't work anymore, and that really affected him. When I first had my stroke, I hardly spoke to anyone. You don't 
realize how much you use your other hand until you don't have it. Okay, and have you come up? It is kind of scary because I'm still a student and while we're at Center for Life Skills, we're learning. And while we're learning, we have to take on the responsibility of a client. There is a fair amount of redundance in systems, obviously. I think that experiential learning is really the most important way to learn. You really get to take what you were taught in the classroom and implement it. How did that client progress? Making lasagna may seem like a very easy activity. However, if you've had a stroke, it's a very difficult process. And we were putting together a really nice lunch. We set the tables, we had candles. Good. And everybody was working go. together and everyone had their own jobs. Yeah, see, so we're each using, we've got two hands. <laughs> That's right, perfect. For the first time <laughs> in a long time. Well, then it works out. It's really important to just take small steps. Just the slightest thing is a huge achievement. I was very frustrated prior to coming to the program, and now I see hope. Okay, I think we're ready. Graduate students who not only are prepared from a career standpoint, but have a very keen sense of ethics and values. And today, that's what people want. I'm Dave Fleischer, and I'm co-founder and managing partner of a wealth management firm here in Philadelphia. For some, Ithaca College was a place to pursue a specific dream. But for most, Ithaca was a place to find your way, a place to explore, find a passion that ultimately launches you into the world. American Funds recently announced another 5% reduction in its fees, effective April 1st. Now of the large fund families... For the last five years, I've been a daily commentator on the local news radio station here in Philadelphia. ...is good news for investors. I certainly left Ithaca academically prepared, but I think the thing that stuck with me most were the relationships. The friends, the faculty members, the advisor who just took that special interest and clearly made a difference. One of the unique things about Ithaca College is that you have faculty here who really care to understand the students and to find out what they're about and to take the time to mentor them and to help them with their careers. The real measure of people acting with morals or with high ethical standards is what you do when the spotlight's not on you. I love when I have the opportunity to come back to meet with students and to speak at classes. Digest what you've just gone over over the last semester. Uh, let it sink in. There are some core values at Ithaca that have endured. You'll be calling on those experiences. It's always about people. It's not about statistics. It's not about churning out degrees. It's about cultivating an environment that nourishes the whole person. And that's what continues to make Ithaca the place that it is. We educate the entire person, the whole person. And what that means is that students leave Ithaca College not only prepared to go out and succeed in the industry, succeed in the discipline, succeed in the profession that, of their choice, it also means that they go out to make a difference in the world.